What's up you guys, I'm Saxon Goff, and today I'm gonna be talking about side hustles and the five I recommend that you try it in 2024 to make some extra money. Today the video quality is a little bit different because I normally do it on a GoPro, but today I'm doing it on my phone. Anyways, let's get right into this. So with my first side hustle, I have flipping stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Now, this is the easiest side hustle that you can do. Pretty much what you want to do is you get stuff that for, for free on Facebook Marketplace and then you pick it up and you pretty much just clean it up and sell it for 20 to 30 bucks depending on the thing. Say you have a couch that's free, you can, you can sell that for 50 bucks. Or if it's something like old video game, you can just, you know, get it for cheap at a garage sale or something too. You can do that too. Yeah, flipping stuff is a really good side hustle for people who just wanted to get into making some money. And that's what I'm doing. I've already made 150 bucks around, 130 bucks this week, just off flipping stuff on Facebook Marketplace. And if you have anything, everyone in, has something in their house that they can flip. So try and find maybe an old video game console or old collectible items or maybe some old furniture that might just be like in your garage sitting around or stuff like that has value some of that still if it functions then and you don't use it sell it anyways if you guys were wondering how to do this so i um just posted a youtube short on this what you want to do is um you want to go to facebook and you look up free stuff and what you can do is you can just message them and pick it up uh, as I said before, clean it up and sell. So it's really, really easy. Anyone can do it. I think anyone over the age of 13 can do this very, very easily and make profit. So another side hustle, number number two, is um buying a vending machine. Like you can get a vending machine used online for a couple hundred bucks probably. If you want to get a new one, they're going to be pretty pricey. But if you stock that up with food, and you sell the food for a little bit more expensive than what you got it for. Just get it at like Costco or something because they sell that in bulk for cheap. You can make a couple hundred profit a month off that. It's just that you have to cover expenses at first. And that's why a lot of people don't try this because they never think to buy a vending machine. But I mean, it's very smart. Um, it's a good long term investment. First you the first month or so, you're probably not gonna make profit. But you'll get that back in a couple months and it just keeps on rolling and rolling and rolling. So it's definitely something I recommend. So number three, number three, I got drop shipping. For me, I don't know if I should be saying that because I actually have never started drop shipping. So hey, don't take my word for it, I guess. But well, why I think this is such a good investment is what well, I'm gonna start at some point soon. But if you know how to do it, that's, that's a lot of money. That's a shit ton of money. But basically what you want to do is you scroll on social media or just if you find a product of some sort and you create a website for it, you shop a, Shopify and you set up a store and you buy TikTok ads or whatever platform you add, you buy ads and you pretty much buy a product for cheap and then you flip it for more. I mean, it seems like a lot of the stuff to make profit you have to flip, but drop shipping is probably out of all these side hustles, you can probably make the most stuff. So yeah, that's definitely one I recommend. And I know it's like probably the most basic one that you can think of in terms of side hustles. Um, but yeah, definitely start drop shipping. The only problem with drop shipping is there's, you don't know if you're gonna make your money back every time. So I recommend that you start these other side hustles first before you start drop shipping. So that's what I'm doing. So if you guys wanna follow my journey on that, then I can make some videos on that. I can make a progress, like a whole journey on drop shipping. I can do that. Let me know if you want me to make some videos on drop shipping because I would like to get into it. So um, just be careful with it because you you can lose money if you're not careful enough with it or if you don't know about, about it. So um, yeah, drop shipping is number three. So for number four, I actually have one that compared to drop shipping, you're not gonna make shit compared to it pretty much. But if you're out a lot and you... S Say you live in a decently big city or just anywhere, pretty much, because it is everywhere. Plastic bottles, glass bottles, if you re recycle them, you get six or seven bags, you can make 200 bucks a month just on the side. I mean, if you put that into a savings account, that's going to add up over time. Um, one thing I want might want to do with that, I might start doing it. Um, 
maybe invest in like a travel trip, you know, something like that. Like a vacation would be really cool. Or you can invest it in, if you're old enough, maybe a car. Like there's so much that you can do with that extra 200. It's just good to be mindful of maybe extra food, like just good stuff like that. Um, yeah, so recycling stuff is actually a pretty solid side hustle. Because, I mean, you don't really think about it. But, I mean, think about all the... I'm sure everyone has a recycling bin that's watching this or whatever. Um, where they put most of that. You get trash bags, whatever. You can make a couple hundred bucks a month. I mean, that's just good to have. So, it's like... This is definitely not a main source of income. But if that's like your third or fourth source of income, then it's not bad. So, that's my number four. Alright, for side hustle number five... I have one that I feel like not too many people talk about, but it's actually be ticket reselling. Like when I'm thinking about tickets, you don't want to buy, say even an airplane ticket or airplane ticket, sports game ticket is what I'm really referring to. But say you're getting a ticket to a airplane. Do you think it's going to be more expensive if you buy it a week before or if you buy it three months before? Obviously, it'd be three months before. So... Pretty much what you can do is <laughs> you can buy sporting event tickets like a football game, NFL, or a basketball game, whatever it is. Um, and you can buy that months in advance for a cheaper price. And you can flip it for triple the price. That is about 80 bucks, probably in profit, depending on the sporting event. If it's a baseball game, it's probably not going to be as much because there's so many games. But you have to be careful with that. You have to know your knowledge, you know. That's that's a really good side hustle. It's pretty simple. Flipping stuff is the best way to do it, I think, because it's the most it's, involves the most simplicity, and it's pretty low risk. I feel like, especially when you're buying something for less, because if you, I mean, if you're making triple the profit, then I mean, you'd have to buy th three things to even make that to lose money. So, yeah. So there's my top five side hustles. Um, today we covered um, flipping stuff on Facebook Marketplace, vending machines, job shipping, and recycled like bottles and cans, and um, ticket reselling. So I hope you guys make some money off this. I hope it helped. Just trying to be as human as possible and set up you guys for success and myself for success. Um, I just, you know, I didn't want to throw any like crazy hard side hustles for you guys so um yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video like subscribe you know the drill and uh see you guys later